Hey guys, this is Mark Rodriguez here. And this is Johnny Rodriguez. And we're doing Retro Fighters one more time with Streets of Rage 2. Okay, I think the first episode was Streets of Rage 1, so it's kind of cool to do Streets of Rage 2. Not as good old fashioned classic Mark and Johnny style, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's check it out, this classic game. Let's look at the opening intro real quick. One year after the battle, the city that had been plagued with crime and violence is also was safe and peaceful. However, evil has once again cast its shadow over the city. Mr. X, the syndicate boss believed destroyed by the three young vigilantes, has come back to live. Well, oh, come back to life. life. Stronger than ever. Thirsty for revenge, he kidnaps Adam and attempt to lure Axel and Blaze in a trap. Axel and Blaze set out to help their faithful companion, joined by Axel's friend Max, a wrestler, and Adam's kid brother, Skate. They're determined to save Adam and put Mr. X out of action. Well, it got so fast all of a sudden. Four young friends, rage burning in sight, to make a stand for friendship and justice for you and me. And peace. It still has very good music even to this day. If you're in that, it's like the old 16-bit system. Okay, here's a Rage 2, and let's start. Two-player action. I'll pick Max for something different. Push A on yours. Oh. Yeah, you have to log in as Johnny. Press A to join. There we go. Oh my god, the, that's um, Mario Technology, folks, you know, they just press start and that's it. Okay, we'll pick your character. Now, we're gonna see how long these levels are, guys, it's been a while. And we're, you know, we're busy with stuff, so we can't really guarantee to finish the whole game. Oh, yeah, we did part one. Oh god, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's more of a Shushi Rage 2 game. Uh. And of course, like we all know, it's pretty much uh, like a final fight. Yeah. And also, well, you know, it gives memories. Oh, yeah. It's like the only too. game that was... Because, uh, you know, they had a, a couple of these... Uh, what they call beat-em-ups. Yeah, back in the day, but Chichi Rage was the only game that uh, really came close to being, you know, as, as a competitor with this kind of Yeah. Oh my god, we were going in a retro store and we saw Rival Turf. Remember that crappy ass game? Now that game, like, oh my god, it's like if we could rent it, maybe we could have rented it to review it and everything, but obviously we can't, you know, do an SNES game and everything. But, um, yeah, basically, like, it would have been kind of like Final Fight if it had a bit better music and. I guess tighter controllers. It was, I don't know. It just looked like a real crappy game. Like it had potential, but it was just a crappy game. Like you could have did a bit more effort to make it tight. And Burning Fight, oh my god, I remember how Burning Fight was, but I don't know why. I thought it was like more badass or something, but then you play it again now, it's also kind of like simplistic, you know? Man, why does Axel always look like a fool? Yeah, I know. Well, look at those enemies. Those are words. The white signals. They look like the two keys from Final Fight. I think in VGM episode, we were making the joke that whenever like the Magyar gang got defeated, they went to work for Mr. X. <laughs> oh wow, this game, like, I, I don't remember it being so tasty. Like well, I mean, I know later on, because more and more baggage are going to appear all over the fucking place. It, it feels more fast paced, but now this is like so slow. I wish it was a dash game, but back then dash options weren't so popular. Beat em up. This is so difficult. Yeah, so guys, this is well, as you already saw the Xbox version, it is like um, like a Sega collection game that we got, so it's not like the original oh version. I am losing this. Thing. You know, after. <laughs> Oh. 
I forgot that second both modes weren't one pair, were they? Which one? I mean, they were just one pair. Those weird Tekken force modes that were kind of not shot, they were just one pair. Maybe you can Maybe it was two pairs, but then you would have another memory card or something. I. Whoa, whoa, are you sure that car's not gonna run those over? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the first ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. You know how to get a turtle arcade game to have that car? I'm just grabbing. Okay, hold on. You're grabbing me. This guy's open my hand. I think this is the first ball. Yeah, he is. He has no hair. People are watching the deployer saying, What the hell is Mark doing? Yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm just, I'm Max and, um, Johnny. So you guys hit the hell out of my face! Oh crap, I need to. I forgot to do the stupid super move or whatever. Right. I guess you can get the thing now. Yeah, so this game that you know it, it got rid of those weird police officer cars and now you can do like pressure moves with like you can do the white button you want to Oh, that's one way to do it. So it's just a white button? Yeah. Or you can push it to no, I don't know, I think it was just the white button. Yeah, because I don't fight like two points, but not this one. So I got this game for he rented the whole thing. You remember that this came out like in Christmas? It was like the like the big Christmas game that like, you wanna buy it and like you're in the game for Christmas this year, make sure it's free some rage too with you know your genesis. You can't do this on Nintendo. Why is it hard to Why do you think of those old commercials? I just do that. Oh, like, directly. But directly saying it. Because in, you know, any other commercial, if you watch a laundry commercial, they say, for example, buy out of a water brand, but don't buy the eating brand, you know? But here, they don't say eating brand, they just buy out of Nintendo. You can't do this on Nintendo! Nintendo! What Nintendo does! Like, it's just like, fire flat out says They were still installing this. They were still saying like a Sonic is more badass than uh, uh, Cause my thought is that Sonic just had more cool attitude and Mario was just, you know, big fat you know, little fat bummer dude, you know? Okay, here's something I didn't notice about these girls until I saw like clear pictures of them. Look at her hand. Her hand is the whip. It's not, she's not, she's not holding a whip, like her fucking hand is, uh, uh like, connected to, oh, sorry, a whip. Here's super move too, you know. There you go, that bitch. Of course, we, we don't condone violence against women, folks. This girl's asking, well, no, that's wrong, you can't say asking for it either. But you know what I mean, she's a bad girl, and she's killing people, so we gotta stop her so she can kill people. With her freaky ass, mechanical whip hand. I don't even know how the hell you get that. Hmm. Okay, so this is the bartender that I guess he must have gotten pissed that we're doing shit in the bar. But that's weird, I don't even know if he's like, the, like me. Is he a real bad guy for Mr. X or he's just pissed off that we're fucking up his bar? And he's doing a decent job. Oh crap, I need the food, I need the food, give me the food, give me the food! Why do I always die before I get the food? Well, I, don't need, I don't need the fucking food. Ah, so that's how I pick Max. And this game is also like, it's not like unlimited continues here, you know, you gotta like do your best. Like, once your continues are gone, they're gone, bro. Yeah, this is like the real Genesis version, not those. Oh my god. But it's kind of weird because if you just read like all those tips and codes, like, they do work too, so you gotta figure out which buttons of this represents the A, B, and C buttons in the Genesis controller. Yeah, Max is easy, rock it up. What the hell was that? Hit him with your super moves and I'm gonna jump off to the pit. Ooh, let's go. My version, pit. Stage one clear. That was yep. part of the stage.
and I'll continue in the next episode with stage two. All right, guys, this is Mark Rodriguez here. Johnny Rodriguez. And we're in the second stage of Teacher Rage 2. Like I said, I can't really guarantee we're going to do the whole game. This is kind of... Let's do a mover in. But, yeah, Retro Fighters, I mean, I'm sorry. We just, we just don't have time. And, you know, I don't have... You know, we just don't have time anymore to make these kind of videos. And Paige is busy with, you know, multiple jobs and stuff. So, you know, it's all it's all things. But now that Johnny's here, we can bring back the uh -huh. Retro Fighters. So all you guys out there, you, you know, you can all show your appreciation or say thanks. Well, you know, we appreciate your patience, I should say, for waiting for this episode. Yeah, it's been a while, and like I said, we're, you know... Uh, I, mean, I keep trying to dash, I keep forgetting that this is dash. These fuckers have always been annoying. They, that was part one, too, then. Like, fucking I mean, that's something that, you know, that's something that Final Fantasy is. I just admit though, um, Max for being a large character, he does animate pretty good though. He does get a lot of animation. Well, he's still 16 bit and everything. Ah, silly fucker. You got your heart in hand. Yeah, a big um, regular guy with a steel pipe. Totally not like my Hagar. Oh fuck, look at the bad guy. Yeah, that's the Well, I was just trying to pick Max to pick someone different because usually I, I don't really pick Max that much in the. What I say, I always pick an action and play. Sometimes. Consequence of fortune that he's too slow. Chicken! Double chicken. Chicken skip. Oh! Oh, get the thing fast before it. Oh. Never mind. Or a bit. No, there should be here. There should be things here. Break those other boxes. Get the third one. Well, this will give you enough help. Yeah. Oh, damn it! There's a question for you guys if you're actually watching the video. If you haven't watched the video this long, uh, what is your favorite game that we've covered? On um, Retro Fighters. So far, we had um, like Double Dragon Neon, we had Teacher Rage 1, um, Turtles in Time, Turtle Hyperstone Highs, we did Shock Troopers. We never did Meltzer. Um, we have to do Meltzer next time, but um, yeah, we, we, we had a couple of games. So, yeah, just tell us what, which one. We will try. Well, I guess the next, let's just say the next time we're in town, we'll, we'll give it a shot. But it might, it might take a while. I don't have to wait a year. <laughs> oh my god, the last episode, well, not counting the future break one we just did, but the last one was well, like in November or something, so yeah. Oh my god, back in the 90s. And also, another thing, we were one of the few kids back then that had the Genesis and Super Nintendo. Because, you know, it was time for tough. I really saved our money a bit, but time for tough, then not everyone had it. You know, it looks like, um, you choose one or the other. Or both. 
And I remember there was the kid in school when I go and I had both. And they were like, we can't have both. It's impossible. We can't have both because it's you know, expensive to have both. Well, oh, they were like a hundred or something, but remember the was back in the day, the day, you know, it's expensive. It was considered hundred bucks for a game system. Yeah, fuck that shit. You know, but, but nowadays, oh my god, now they're costing four hundred. These are just costing money. Well, I mean, they do more stuff, but still, money is price. I mean, uh, honestly speaking, you guys, the reason that we haven't done a Street Fighter V review or whatever or is because we don't have a you know, PS4 because they cost like four hundred. I don't, I don't have four hundred bucks to just throw around anymore. You know? Honestly speaking, if it cost 100, I, I would have probably bought it, you know? But, but yeah, I don't, we don't have the bucks to throw it around like that anymore these days. Like, these, yeah. But there's a lot of stuff, because an Xbox 360, I mean, not just do you play games. You can watch WWE Network, you can watch Netflix, you can watch Hulu, you can even watch YouTube on it. It's like it does so much more than just play the game. Or you can also watch DVD movies on it, that kind of stuff. Oh, let's wrap it up, guys. It's stage three. All right, guys. Now we're back. Mark and Johnny. What the hell are you doing? This is um, Mark and Johnny Retro Giant Fighters Jesus. with um, Axel getting kind of fresh there with with Max, and we're basically to reach two. And I I just know. Oh yeah. That Disney. I don't know. I guess I guess they probably weren't thinking too much about what they made it. And that's weird though, because usually these are the kind of things that maybe like, the Japanese version would have had this effect, and then the American version would have like chained it down or something. But I guess in this case, it didn't. Yeah, for you guys didn't know, um, the Genesis version of Sonic the Hedgehog had like realistic, I guess realistic, wavy effects when he was underwater, and they skipped that in the American version to save money, and save time. I don't know what, but yeah. So anyways, this is Arcade, it's Bare Knuckle, in case you guys didn't know, you probably see by now that Bare Knuckle is the Japanese name for Future Rage, so it's like, hey, I'm playing my own game, whoa, check out Blaze Wonder Model. So, yeah, I guess it's just that old. Uh, I mean, that was just dumb, they just made up stupid games. I didn't even check these people's, I didn't even check Part 2's profile, if they have any information like that, like what they do. Dialing. There we go. Man, can you imagine? Now it's way too late, or it would have been for those social purposes. But it would be cool to make this race the movie. But a good one, a movie that's based on the game and not extra weird bullshit. Do you remember the old Dragon movie, right? With um the the Dole Dragon people fighting like two, well well the Mark Sacasco Jimmy D still fought good but Scott Wolfers he was just doing goofy shit and throwing things around because you know he doesn't have martial arts training like you know dude like, you have martial arts training for the movie then you know? it was just very bad I mean Double Dragon is just about two guys being up gangsters trying to get Marion back it's not about like I don't know what that movie is about it's what weird shit. So yeah, I'm very afraid. There was a future rage movie back then. Yeah, it would have been stupid. Yeah, it would have been stupid. I'm also curious though what actors would have gone, but but it also could have been just any stupid actress that looked nothing like them. Like, I wonder who would have gone for Blaze. Who was the hot babe back in the days in the 90s or something? Yeah, because I don't know. Cindy Crawford as Blaze or something. Would have, they would have gone some hot girl, regardless of whether or not she fights martial arts skills or not. What would be kind of funny if they had Michelle Pfeiffer. She could have, she just had a wig to dye her hair. Um, I mean, she, she did do the training to be Catwoman, but she did train to do all the cartwheels and back to this. So, I mean, we could have given her, we could have given her black hair, brown hair. Oh, get the one, well I need it, you got three lines. Yeah, that's a good question. I wonder who they would have done. Well, nowadays, they would have probably gotten stupid Megan Fox or some other dumbass. Yeah, that's a good That's one thing that you escaped, Johnny. You never got to see the 
the great classical theater of the Michael Bay Turtles. Ugh. Oh god, this shit again. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I never, I mean, you guys were expecting the Out of the Shadow view. I just never had to see it. Let's go to Trippy Handy. In a certain way, I kind of wanted my character to die also because that was like a big blade for someone's back. I still wish you could dash in this game. Oh my god. Oh, and this gets even weirder when once you get inside this weird ass fun house. Like, what the fuck? It looks like it doesn't even belong in the same game. That was like a weird idea. I guess it was to make, you know, some priority in the game or something, but. Hey, move! Just move! You can get out of here. Okay, let's move to um, Eno to have more room to get out. We can attack him with his out. It's kind of hard. It's kind of cowardly. It's like way. Oh my god! Do the move on. Well, whenever you're close enough, do that. Do the move on. Jump kick. Okay, good. He's dead. Finally. It's like, don't put bad guys like that in places like this where you can't get them. Okay, this is so boring. Is there even the graphics? Mm -hmm. okay. There's another one coming up. Oh, whatever, you get more life than I do. Where are you playing? I know. It's like an Aliens movies or something, but it's, it's a weird thing to put into the game. Like, well, not only that, but what kind of a funhouse or whatever has this shit? It's a weird funhouse. You know what else is So, anyways, so, what do you think of the big experience of meeting Scott Hall and Kevin Nash? Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, I was surprised. I know they're Nash is small, but I was surprised that, that Scott Hall is also very small. They're big guys. I mean, they're, I know they're nice muscular before, but they're very big guys. They're just, they're just I think it gets, uh, yeah, that's, like, that's actually the first wrestler I've ever seen in person because, because I've been to other cons with um, Rod Van Dam and all of them, but I just didn't care. I didn't go online. I didn't talk to them in person, so I didn't have that experience of being like up close to them. Yeah. I'm sorry about the screen, those things are And I can't, and it's stupid, I guess, like, sometimes it, it hits you just by touching it, and other things, like, like right now, it just passes through. So I can't really tell what, what hits you and what doesn't. Yeah, what, is that the boss? No. Oops, sorry, what is this ghost? Wait, but then what? I thought that was the boss already of the stage. Sorry, this was. At least I got someone faster than Blade, but let's try to go, because I don't know how much room there is in our, in our um, recording equipment. I, I honestly thought that was like the boss. Oh, careful. Oh, fuck, I did that. Oh, get the chicken. Just ignore him and get the chicken. Ugh. Yeah, this guy's very abusive. Yeah, I think this guy's even worse. There we go. I, I actually think her fireball is also Kikosho. And that was before Chun Li, because Chun Li's Kikosho didn't come out until a later game. Because her fireball is Kikosho. Yeah, she does say Kikosho. It's hard to. Oh my god. I guess Chun Li must have learned to move from Blaze or something. You have another special move when you stand still, you know. 
Yeah, that. Well, there you go. And that's the best way to show it. Alright, guys, there are some simple retro fighters. I think we're kind of running out of room of recording space. As usual, Mark Rodriguez here. Johnny Rodriguez. And we'll see you all. I don't know when, but we'll see you next time. Yep.